Hello everybody and welcome to the gaming PC Builds of the Month for June 2016 brought to you by NoobComputerBuild.com. My name is Corey. Um, starting off this month, uh, there have been uh, quite a few exciting announcements in terms of the graphics cards, or in the graphics cards world. Uh, and so I'm going to get into that. Also, these builds are for any gamer. If you're just ch checking in for the first time here, I have these three builds, which roughly cover every single gamer out there, unless you're a crazy enthusiast that uh, tries to crank every uh, frame rate out of, say, 4K. Uh, these builds should get you by in any scenario. Starting with kind of a higher end $1,500 build, and a mid range $1,000 build, and a more budget $600 build. All right, getting into the news this month and into the builds. So starting off, before I get into the builds, I'm just going to kind of quickly note uh, the two cards that were, the two very exciting cards that were announced this month. One being the GTX 1080 uh, that was announced earlier in, or later in May, sorry, and is released right now. And this comes into play in our $1,500 build this month and can come into play, but unfortunately it is... Uh, hard to get your hands on and also the price is kind of over and above what it should be in most places where you can purchase it so um when i'm one caveat i'm doing this video at the beginning of june uh june 1st or may 30th is today um so i would wait halfway through the month maybe uh if, if you're a little patient otherwise i do have other recommendations if you want to continue and purchase your build right away but this is well worthwhile the other card being the GTX 1070, which was announced and is announced for release. It's not quite released, but the estimated release date is July 10th. Uh, again, it's probably going to be released at a higher price um, and whatnot, so uh, you might have to wait a couple weeks after that for availability and for prices to kind of subside. And just to give you a quick idea, here are the, if you want to check out a review of these cards, uh, Tom's Hardware does a f couple of really good ones. Both the GTX 1080 and 1070 reviews are out. Uh, the 1080, for example, just kind of wipes out every card out there right now. And at a you know it, it, at a decent price and uh like they say if it's at the bar for the next gen gaming playable frame rates at 4k or vr uh with quality settings cranked up uh if that's for you then the gtx 1080 is the first card to cross this barrier uh so to speak but uh one that people are really excited about is the 1070 because it's a more affordable card i think the estimated price is 379 uh what, what the recommended price uh from geforce is but um as you can see here, uh, the short of the in their conclusion of their uh, review of the card, the GTX 1070 is as fast as or faster than the 1100 GeForce GTX Titan X, which is crazy. So you can purchase for 379. You can purchase even two of these, and uh, just imagine the performance you can get um, in SLI even um, compared to one GTX Titan X, which is like they say, $1100. All right, let's get into the builds right away here. Uh, we'll start with the usual $1,500 build. This is the higher-end build uh, that we do every month, and it generally comes in around $1,500 build. Uh, $1,500, that's why I call it the $1,500 build. Uh, this game uh, build is for those that, you know, you can crank up 1080p, play any game, no problem. doesn't matter the FPS, it'll just be crazy. Uh, but you can play 2K games really well, and even into 4K with settings scaled back quite a bit. Otherwise, look into the GTX 1080 or into the alternatives that I'll get into in a sec. The processor for this build is the Intel Core i5-6600K, currently $239.99. The cooler paired with that, and you need a cooler, is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo 3393. A motherboard gigabyte uh, GA uh, Z170X Gaming 5, uh, 167.86. It does go down a little bit in price, but this is uh, generally where it floats around. Graphics cards, like I said. Uh, there's two uh, options here. The usual that we have included for a few months, uh, a GTX 980 Ti, which is a really good card, and you can purchase right now for 550 63 which is way below what it usually is. It's usually around the $600 mark. Uh, so they are dropping your price due to the announcement of the GTX 1080, which is estimated to be at $600 when <laughs> prices subside and uh, um, there's actually supply. So that you can get that card if you're patient and wait. Otherwise, uh, GTX 980 Ti is the other recommendation and will still get the, the performance that I've said above here. RAM, we have 16 gigabytes Corsair Vengeance, uh, DDR4 RAM, 5999. For storage, we have an SSD, a Samsung 850 Evil, 500 gigabyte, 154.99. Power supply, EVGA Supernova 750 watt version G2 Gold, um, 109.99. This will still be a good uh, proce uh, processor power supply, even if you go with the GTX 1080 later on, so don't worry about that. And the case, like usual, I try to include new, newer cases. This is a new one from Silverstone, the Silverstone Primera. Uh, 
and it comes in blue LEDs in this one. I also think there's a black version. But anyways, I'm featuring the white one here, $109.99, and it was just released within the last month. Estimated price comes out to cheaper than $1,500, $1,427, which gives you room to either, you know, upgrade to that 1080 or uh, have a cheaper build, <laughs> whichever you prefer. Um, for some alternatives, if you have a little extra to spend, like you do, uh, if you have a $1,500 budget, you can bump it up to an i7, 6700K processor, 349.99. Uh, you could, if you went to with the 980 Ti, you can SLI with another one of those for 550.99. Probably wouldn't recommend that right now because you would have to uh, bump up the power supply to an 850 minimum watt, such as in uh, the EV, the same one, but up to that I uh, recommended above, but the 850 watt version. And in the end, you might might as well just go with a GTX 1080 coming out. You could uh, increase the cooler, uh, get a better cooler, such as a liquid cooler, such as this Corsair Hydro Series H100 V2, I V2, uh, 10442, uh, and if this is a faster SSD, also it's double the space. Uh, storage capacity with a SanDisk Extreme Pro, 960 gigabyte, uh, 337.97. Now moving on to the mid-range build, the $1,000 gaming PC build for June uh, 2016. Um, this build is for those that do want to, no problem, max out 1080p uh, games, uh, and then also playing the 2K, or you know, for example, 2K 2560 by 1440 resolution games. Um, but some games might have to scale back a little bit, some may not. Look up those benchmarks if you decide to go with this uh, build, if you have a particular partic particular game in mind. <laughs> processor, same processor as above. i5-6600K, 239.99. Uh, cooler Master Hyper 212, Evo CPU Cooler 29.49. This is the scaled down version of the motherboard in the above build. This is the Gigabyte uh, GAZ170X Gaming 3, 139.99. And the graphics cards, again, I wanna mention so this is the Asus, the one included in this build is the Asus GTX 970, a great card, 289.38, also a really affordable card. Uh, GTX 1070 is a great card and I would highly recommend it when it comes out, but uh, it may or may not fail, fit into a $1,000 budget, maybe more like an $1,100 budget, since uh, the estimated cost of that is $379, which is approximately $100 more. So budget into that if you're going to wait. Uh, RAM, Kingston HyperX Fury Black 8GB kit, 3438 DDR4 uh, kit. <laughs> uh, storage, we have the uh, Samsung 850 Evo 250GB version 8, D8927. Power supplies EVGA Supernova 650G1, uh, 7810. And then the case is a, well, usually I include newer cases. This is a new ish case, not the case itself, but the Fantex Antho Pro M Mid Tower 7199. It came out with two new colors, so I'm, I'm including it, and they just came out within the last month. It's uh, titanium green and then uh, and some sort of gray. <laughs> so if you're interested in getting a different color, it's I, I really like this case. I'd highly recommend it, but if, if you want some choice in color, uh, you have it this month. This comes out to $972 as of June 2016. Uh, if you have some more extra to spend or upgrades for the future, uh, you can get a 500 gigabyte SSD such as the Samsung 850 Evo, 154.99 SLI with another GTX 970. Um, you could increase graphics card right away to play into 2K resolutions and go with a 449 uh, Radeon R9 390X, but, and I say but, I would probably go with the GTX 1070 and wait for that. So this is if you want to immediately bump up those graphics, otherwise wait just a little bit. Uh, and you can get a liquid CPU cooler such as the Corsair Hydro Series H80i GT, $84.99. Now for the budget build. <laughs> I say budget lightly because this is kind of a go-to build for new, new builders, especially uh, the $600 gaming PC build, which does play most games at 1080p at uh, relatively high settings, and uh, a lot of games maxed out too, at even 60 F FPS, for example. So this is kind of a go-to build, and it hasn't changed this much too much or this month since last month too much but uh let's go through processor intel um 6100 <laughs> i3 processor 115.95 and i just started including this one last month uh just a no just a little fyi so it is a it is a great uh cpu um motherboard gigabyte uh H170, it's not an overclockable uh, processor, but it, it's just the H170 motherboard, gaming 3 version, 89.99. Graphics card, Asus, the uh, Strix version, the Radeon R9 380, 179.99. Um, RAM, Kingston HyperX Fury Black 8GB kit, 
DDR4 RAM, 34, 38. We have an SSD in this build. It's a more of a budget version, but it's a really good budget version. My digital SSD, 256 gigabyte uh, version of this one, 59.99. And then the power supply we have is the EVGA 600 watt bronze power supply you see here for the 600B, 5272. And the computer case uh, I'm featuring this month is the Rosewell uh, Challenger S. Uh, it's not a it's a really good budget case actually uh, $49.99 and this comes up to $583 little under budget we're good um, now for the alternatives for the $600 build a um, little more to spend and want to upgrade in the future uh, liquid CPU cooler if you want this one fits into kind of smaller spaces smaller cases which is great Corsair Hydro Series H55 Quiet Edition uh, $59.86 uh, better graphics card if you want to bump that up a little bit for just a little bit more, uh, $229.99 for a Radeon R9 380X. You can move up your CPU for a higher performing processor for an Intel Core i5 6500 for 20337, or bump up that SSD to a almost 500 gigabyte SSD, the A data one that you see here, the SP550, uh, for $108.99. All right, that does it for this month. I also have gaming peripherals on the website, newcomputerbuild.com, if you want to check those out. Like I said, check out these. Uh, uh, 1080s and 1070s if you want to wait for those throughout July or sorry June <laughs> into June and maybe into July depending on how supply and prices pan out but so far like I said check out these uh, uh, Tom's Hardware kind of reviews too there's a whole bunch of other ones too but they were kind of the, one of the first ones I think to do a 1070 review so you can check out those as well but uh, until next month I'll post uh, post these builds every month so check back otherwise visit the site leave a comment all the hardware is linked in the description below and until next time take care and happy building